Today we will be exploring the idea of gradient, also known as slope. Have a look at this truck and this car driving down a steep slope. Would you feel safe if you saw that sign that said 1 to 5? I've never noticed it before. What does that sign mean? That sign tells us how steep the road is. Really? Then how steep is it? Well, let's have a look. The sign gave a ratio of 1 to 5. It means that for every 1 meter we go down, we go 5 meters across. I just hope that truck had good brakes. I suppose you are wondering what steep hills have to do with maths. Well, today we are going to look at the steepness of lines on the Cartesian plane. But before we do that, I would like to investigate a few interesting slopes. Have a look at these. This sign says that the slope is 1 to 0. How steep do you think the line would be? The ratio tells us that we would go down one unit and we move zero units across. This would be a cliff. No car could drive down the side of the cliff. This sign says the gradient is zero to one. This means that we go down zero units for every one unit across. This kind of slope is no slope at all. It's just flat. What about a slope of one to one? For every one meter you go down, you move the same distance horizontally or across. Now we are ready to look at the gradient of a line on the Cartesian plane. To begin with, we focus on the axes. On the x-axis, the x values are increasing from left to right. Similarly, the Y values are increasing from the bottom to the top. In the Cartesian plane, a slope is uphill when the Y values increase as the X values increase. In other words, as X gets bigger, Y also gets bigger. This will be the same as going uphill from the left to the right. The slope of an uphill is positive. A slope is downhill when the y values decrease as the x values increase. The gradient of a downhill is negative. This is an important thing to remember. An uphill has a positive gradient and a downhill has a negative gradient. <laughs> 